it's not only that I respect you, I do, but I have nothing to lose and nothing to gain in this conversation. Yeah. This is, for me, this is what, they, what the Hindus call Leela. It's play. Right. That's all it is. And, and I'd have to say that I actually do have something to gain. I gain a lot from conversations like this, and, and this one in particular. It's just, I find it very enriching. You know, just very, it, it, it gets neurons firing that hadn't been, fi that had been asleep or something, and, and each one kind of stimulates some, something new. So I really appreciate it. I don't walk around thinking about this stuff. It may seem that I do because I, ha I have this Facebook presence and people ask me questions. And I understand why they do. My friend John Troy, oh, yeah. well, he came across something that I had written. And in those days, I was writing stuff for my web page, which <laughs> took questions to, hmm, took questions that, that happened at your end, I hope. Yeah, Irene dropped a pot or something, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, because we have a cat, you know, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, he uh, came across something I'd written for my web site, which in those days took questions about psychotherapy and such, uh, sexuality. Okay. Having read that, he invited me to be on his radio program called Wisdom Soft Whisper. Mm -hmm. And he interviewed me, and at the end of the interview, he told me, this is amazing interview. It's just wonderful. Why aren't you on Facebook? And I didn't know anything about it. I'd heard of it, but this was a long time ago. Facebook wasn't really that big in 2010, the way it is now. Yeah, I heard about it, but it didn't beckon. But I got a page, as he recommended, and then he started a, a, new, a new group it's called um, Conversations with Avant-Garde Sages. All oh, right, him and, and Trip Overholt. That's it. Yeah. So he, he asked me to, to help him to admin this, mm -hmm. kind of be the gatekeeper on it. And I agreed. And I started doing that. And then John invited me and Catania, my wife, to North Carolina to a gathering, an annual gathering that he has. Well, that's when um, my spiritual teaching gig started. Mm. And a friend of mine I really trust told me that I was a teacher of non-duality and really needed to do that. And I don't know, I felt funny about it, but I did it for about two or three years. I had people come into my consultorio where I did therapy, but instead of therapy, I was doing this. It's embarrassing to call it spiritual teaching, but thank God it's in the rearview mirror anyway. So. <laughs> So that morphed into this. And so morphing into this, the, the audience that I have is people who are interested in this. But I think I could just as happily be discussing questions about, um, about subatomic physics and reality as I do about God and reality. It'd be the same, the same conversation, basically, which would be, to go back to a word I used earlier, it would be epistemology, because that's, see, that's all I really have to discuss. And that's what, that's what these, the big three that we mentioned earlier in India, that's what they all recommended. Who am I? And that's what I'm saying. How do you know that? Which is the same question. How do you know that is a great question. Do I know for sure? Reincarnation, God, angels, whatever. Um, you know, they're all interesting possibilities, but do I know them with adamant certainty? Do I know anything with adamant certainty? Certainty? I mean, do you? <laughs> well, I know I don't. Right. Me and, neither. And actually, the great geniuses, the ones we, whose name everyone knows, like Socrates or Einstein, that's exactly what they said. I know nothing. Yeah. They all said it. Which is not to say you don't entertain ideas and speculate about things, maybe. Uh -huh. talk, about, talk about them as we're doing today. But do you really know? You know would you stake your life on it? You know? That's the right. The, I, love, I love that phrase, entertain ideas. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's what we do. An idea comes and we say, come on in, have a drink. <laughs> you know, we'll consider yeah, it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Yes, yeah. I think it's a beautiful expression to entertain an idea. Mm -hmm. But 
to entertain an idea, i don't need to start out by believing it. right.